Today, Gordon and I are heading up to Whistler for a few days to celebrate our wedding anniversary. We go up every year as we got married there 11 years ago on August 5th. We're planning to do some hiking in the mountains and enjoy a nice anniversary dinner at Quattro Restaurant. We also want to take the opportunity while we have full hookups to show you how we dump our black and grey tanks. It's the August long weekend here in British Columbia, which is the beginning of August. Uh, Monday is a statutory holiday and we're in Whistler at the Riverside RV Resort. Um, it's a commercial facility, but we've got a, a reasonably nice spot here. You can see we have uh, a fair amount of uh, privacy, trees on both sides, a little close, big fifth wheel uh, close behind us, but other than that, it's not too bad. We get a modest view. Actually, it's a nice view. Uh, with the exception of the power lines in front of us. Uh, there's a putting green, but generally very nice. It's quiet. We, also, we have the washrooms as well, a little close to us. Uh, we got a last minute cancellation, so we couldn't be picky about what site we got, but that's actually handy as well. Saves us having to use ours. Of course, we have full hookups. There. Sewer. And here is actually water. Our electrical hookup, which is here. And one of our challenges again this time, uh, we bought one of the best, I think, EMS uh, devices out there, uh, Progressive Industries, but it's so big, they, they're really kind of cumbersome to fit in these, but we had managed to make this one work. And as you can see, it, everything seems to be working fine. It's been such a long time since we hooked up to power. I, uh, I couldn't actually remember how to do it, and we're really only hooked up to electricity so that if it gets too warm, we can keep our air conditioning running for precious. Not likely though, we've got the fan running right now and it's about 27 degrees. It's actually very, very pleasant. We're just going to put some reflectics in the front window right now, just in the event the sun comes around. But as you can see, um, we're actually in a good spot for shade. So it should be nice. Temperature this weekend will be warm. I think it's supposed to be up to about uh, 28. So reasonably hot. All these uh, classes that you can attend. Nice patio. And lots of people. Hey, Precious, where are you going? You're gonna get up your stairs. What you doing, Prish? Well, oh, you can hear all the people outside, right? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good girl.
we're off to do our hike and we're going to be walking over to Blackcomb Base and take the chairlift up to the top of the mountain. So we're just walking along the trail behind the day lots in Whistler Village and it took us about half an hour to get to here by foot and I think we're probably about five minutes away from the Blackcomb Mountain gondola or the chairlift. Here's the section of the parking lot here in Whistler. They have a lot parking lot 3 east where you're allowed to park overnight in your RV so we're actually in a private commercial site but if we weren't we could park here overnight and you get an idea of the number of ones that are here. So a little busier I think than the average Walmart parking lot but nice option for folks. Twenty dollars a day. Oh, there's, five, a, there's a fee? Oh, yeah there's a twenty dollar a day eight to five and then it's free from five to eight five p.m. to eight a.m. overnight. Brush up on your skills before you get on the hills. No, I just try it right away. No need to <laughs> practice. So we're kind of disappointed because you used to be able to take the chairlift on this side or take a gondola on the other side. And frankly, the chairlift, at least in the summer, was far more far more pleasant and uh, and really a lot more. Really, I think we're more in touch with nature as you went up. So. They're moving to a 10-person gondola, which I guess will allow them to get more people up and down the mountain, but you know, it kind of takes away that, again, sense of nature. Unfortunate. Though in winter, I suspect it will be much nicer. So this is Chequemus Lake. Over there is Cory Lake, Black Tusk, Chequemus Glacier, and just some of the beautiful mountains up here. This will be Garibaldi Park. 
just gorgeous. I've paddled this lake a couple times. No one ever does that. Got up the river at the end a little bit. It's always nice. It's always very isolated. You can hike in to about the three-quarter mark quite comfortably, but rarely do people boat. So it's a it's a nice uh, a nice place to get away and enjoy some beautiful scenery as well. It's a snow bear, a small snow bear. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's the little patches of snow. Um, just a gorgeous day. We've been so lucky. Okay, so I'm 5'10". I'm on a rock that would make me be able to play basketball if I was this tall. And you see how much higher the snow bank is. A lot higher. <laughs> it's not going to go away this year. our anniversary dinner at Quattro restaurant in Whistler and we're just making our way back um, on the trail back to the campground three kilometer walk three kilometers to go to dinner three kilometers to go back <laughs> three kilometers to go for our hike three kilometers to go back so it's, we, been a, it's been a fun day so we did a lot of walking but it's good exercise and it's always nice to have a walk after you eat a, a big meal so Good morning, it's our last day in Whistler and what we thought we would do is, um, we've had some people ask about uh, uh, dumping the tanks and we used it, we showed it uh, in a previous video but we thought we'd just run through, empty the black tank and empty the grey tank uh, and film that. Oh yeah, black tank first. <laughs> Make sure that doesn't come flying. There we go. That's right there. Black tank empty, gray tank empty. Callahan Valley. The Callahan Valley was a host of the Canadian Olympic Park is there and it was a host to the Nordic events during the 2010 Olympics. There's also an access route to the Callahan Provincial Park which is a gorgeous little lake, beautiful park, but unfortunately we wouldn't be able to get in there in the Zion. You need either a 
a high clearance car or a four wheel drive vehicle to get into that area. But it's beautiful, a little bit more rustic than Whistler, but um, some nice hiking trails. And I think if you got into the lake, you can paddle board. It's too small of a lake to kayak, but it's a gorgeous place. The other thing about the Callahan Valley, it's a very popular fitness site, fitness ride from Whistler. So if you've got a road bike, a lot of folks will ride from Whistler to the Callahan Valley. It's mostly downhill to get here and then a lot of uphill into the valley. And then you turn around and go back and it's mostly uphill, so it's a good workout. We're going to go see what uh, Eddie the Eagle saw at the top of the ski jump. Long flight of stairs. <laughs> so there must be another way to walk down, <laughs> I presume. <laughs> That I'd be reluctant to hike the hill, let alone ski it. These guys, of course, are in the air. Harder than the stairs. down. There's the Zion right down there. It looks tiny. Still. Feels warmer, but. That was fun going up that ski jump and uh, yeah, we're just saying it's probably worth the $10 admission. Um, it's a lot cheaper than some of the other activities in Whistler and you get some great views and uh, a little exercise, so who could be that? And there's a number of hiking trails around here as well that you can try out. And there's some activities like you can do a biathlon something, something shooting. or other. Shooting. Shooting, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, oh, I, I think you have to pay extra, but still. Yeah, it's like 20 or $30, but... But yeah, look at the views from here. It's pretty amazing. That's the gorgeous view of the Black Tusk. 